it because I'm in the business of selling, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel via Glow. If you are new here, my name is Gloria and I'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps and I resell clothes and shit. So in today's video, I have a huge ass thrift haul. Now I did go to the Goodwill bins. I went to the Salvation Army and a regular Goodwill store. And let's just say I got a lot of shit. All right, so the first thing is these pair of Ed Hardy vintage Y2K shoes. I picked these up and I kind of chuckled because I'm like, who still wear Ed Hardy? However, I went to my Instagram. If you aren't following me there, make sure you do. And I asked the girls, is Ed Hardy back in? And a lot of them was like, yeah, girl, it's back in. So I went on and got them and I've been noticing so much attention across all platforms. So I think this was a great pickup. Um, this is actually a size six and going by the euro sizing it's definitely a six in women so if you are interested and you have baby feet these are for you the next thing is actually from the bands and it's this eddie bauer 100 percent wool headband um i kind of wanted to keep this for myself low-key low-key uh just because it is super cute and it looks like it's in like new condition and i don't have a wool headband so i might be holding on to that i might not we'll see the next thing is this Y2K Juicy Couture shoulder purse. Um, I picked this up and once I checked comps and I saw the comps were really good, it was going between $50 to $100 and I was just kind of like, why wouldn't I pick it up? So I went on and got it and it has that classic Juicy Couture charm, but this one is not the velour style. This is just a, like a quilted style and it looks to be in a really good condition except the handles have a little bit of wear on them but i don't think that that really affects the bag at all the inside is brand new so i went on and got it all right so the next thing is this madewell dress it is a size large i got this one at the bins and i was pleasantly surprised that it was at the bins because it is in a like new condition and this was actually from last year so 2021 and we got that the next one is also from the bins and it's this really pretty j jill dress um i try not to pick up j jill too often because it does sit but this was really cute it was sleeveless and i thought that it would be perfect for this little bit of spring and summer that we have here because this is a beautiful floral dress the next thing is actually from the bins as well and it's this ralph lauren polo and it's called the big t-shirt and it's just a polo shirt um this is actually a size large this is vintage too so i really love that we love vintage and this one was also from the bins and it's just this champion performance jacket um let me see i don't typically pick up champion just because it's just not one of those brands that i look at i'm gonna be honest with you but i thought that this was in excellent condition and somebody would love that on ebay the comps look really good on ebay um i'm probably going to get between 20 to 25 dollars which is not bad at all considering how much i actually paid for it this is my favorite girl and it's a lily pulitzer maxi dress this is actually a size small this is so beautiful and it has that side slit i have to pop up a stock photo but you already know how i feel about lily pulitzer and i have her listed pretty high she does have a little bit of like minor flaws to her but i just closed it and we'll see if we can get from it the next thing is a brand that i've never picked up before it's called chaser um, i know a lot of resellers kind of talk about it and the decline of it but i thought that this looked beautiful it was in a like new condition and it had a hood on it so i was just kind of like I gotta take her home so i did the next one is a chrysel times joa i don't really know that brand um, but this is how it looks and it's a new tags floral dress um it looks like the joa is the really good brand i don't know who chrysel is but i went on and picked this up because it was half off at the salvation army and i was like what's the worst that can happen this is a dress from needle and thread and i did not know that this was an amazing brand um however this particular style not so much <laughs> um but i got this at the bands the next one is a lily pulitzer dress actually this is a romper this one is a extra small and it's a really pretty romper i love it so much um it does have that hook and eye closure right at the the chest area so if you want a more you know subtle look you could do that all right so the next one is a soft surroundings 
top this is like a velour material velvet if you will and the size is pxl and it's just this really pretty top um, I could not leave it behind when I was at the Salvation Army I found so many soft surrounding pieces and this was the only one that kind of like stood out to me to keep most of them I was just kind of like I don't think it's worth it so I left them behind but I love that one these are just a pair of Pistola jeans um, I've picked up this brand I want to say one other time but I've only been able to pick up like they were like some lounge pants and they still haven't sold um, but these jeans are still on Revolve for like $168. So I was just kind of like, mm, I think I'm going to get them. This is actually an anthropology brand, um, but it's called Plenty by Tracy Reese. This is also a really pretty dress. Um, I will have to pop up a stock photo, but I thought that it was really pretty and it had nice little ruffles at the end. And I got it at the bend, so, you know, can't go wrong with that. The next one, I, I, honestly, I should have left this at the bins, um, but I picked it up anyway. You already know how it is. Um, it's just a free people, like cute little tank top. Um, it's a size small. I, yeah, I just, I just thought I'd bring it home. The next one is a pretty good brand called Carrots. This is like a pair of breeches, I want to I want to say. That's like for the girls that ride horses. These are size large and they're just like a pair of boot cut legging tights if you will and then they have that um like i want to say that's leather if i'm not mistaken um on that inner thigh i guess to like not hurt their legs with the horses i'm not really sure but i went on to pick them up because i heard that this brand is pretty good so i went on and got it next one is actually from the bands and it's a victoria's secret sleep dress it's a long sleeve one i own a lot of pajamas and this one is that modal material which feels really soft and really breathable so this was a really good pickup and I was happy to find it because you know the girls actually love Victoria's Secret all right this was also at the bins um, this is just a men's Dickies jacket and this is a size medium it is quilted on the inside and it was in a like new condition and I was wondering why nobody picked it up and then I realized once I got home why they didn't and it's because the zipper is fucking broke so that's awesome um so i'm not gonna get that much for it i'm sure just because the zipper's broke but what can you do the next one is a cobby blazer jacket thingy mabobber um this one was also at the bands and it was in an amazing condition and I saw the comps for this and the comps were really high. A lot of people have theirs listed really high. I try to put mine in like that mid section um, just because, you know, I want to get a faster sale. But I was pretty happy to pick it up because I know that Cobby is like a cult like brand and I have a really great sell through rate with their jeans. So I thought, you know, why not try a blazer? The next one is a pair of BKE denim Stella Flare jeans these are size 25 long now i recently sold a pair i want to say the exact same day that i sourced these which i thought was kind of funny um so i was just like i guess i'll go ahead and get them um but they just have you know that boot cut flare and then nice little detailing in the back these are what i call the cowgirl pants and you know you can't go wrong so the next pair is actually a pair of silver denim jeans these are actually called the dawson flap and they just have flat pockets in the back and uh, they are boot cut as well. These are another pair of cowgirl jeans. These are a size 30. I have luck with selling silver. I don't really get a lot for it, but they do sell. So if I can find it pretty cheap, I'm gonna pick it up. The next thing is this really pretty Lily Pulitzer skirt. Um, I did not know that this was like a two piece set until I did my um, research and it does have a top that goes with it and at this particular Salvation Army I don't really look at the blouses but I'm sure it would have been over there if I would have looked but you know what can you do. But this is actually a size 6. It is so pretty and then it has like these little tie ups on the side. Looks so nice. The next one is actually from the Benz and this is just a juicy couture jacket i actually received an offer like three minutes after listing it on ebay for ten dollars <laughs> and of course i declined uh, because i literally just listed it and 
I have it for $40. It's probably going to sell for like $30, $35. Um, but yeah, I'm just like, really, girl, $10? That's the best you can come with? But whatever. Um, so that one was actually a size large. But you already know, like, when it's Y2K, the sizing is a little bit skewed. So I say it's more of a small medium, if anything. This is a pure J. Jill sweater. I actually picked this up at the Salvation Army. It was half off as well. So I was just kind of like, why not? I've noticed that this has gotten so much attention on Poshmark. Like it has like six or seven likes as we speak and it's only been listed for a few days. So I'm excited to see how much this sells for. But it's just this really cute like waffle knit sweater. I kind of almost want to keep it, um, but I, I hate it because the fall and winter is like so far away it seems especially in Texas because it's hot as hell and I just don't want to hoard clothing you know when I can just sell it because I'm in the business of selling okay all right so the next thing is this pair of better brand pants uh, these are a size 2xl I love selling better brand um, it has definitely declined I can say that much but it still sells and I do think that it is a good bread and butter to have in my closet and I've actually never sold a plus size but I have noticed that this is not getting any attention so that might be something to think about the next one is actually from the bins I picked this up with intentions of keeping it myself however I think I am underestimating my weight so this one has to be on sale this is actually a size large and it's by a new day and it's a raincoat i just thought that it looked really nice and i was like I, since i don't own a raincoat or a trench coat i might as well go ahead and treat myself you know since it's not that much um but this one actually is missing the belt so i really kind of hate that but it's still very functional so i don't see how it would really affect anybody and if you really want a belt you can just go buy a belt you know the next one is from the bins as well and this is by polo ralph lauren it is a size small um i do believe this is a men's jacket i don't know what the name of it is but i just thought that it looked really nice and it was vintage so i was just kind of like let me go ahead and get it somebody's gonna want this in the fall or winter time all right so the next one is actually from the brand called ll bean um i don't really find this as much as i would like to but this is actually a size men's medium it could definitely fit a women's medium large you already know but it's just a quarter zip like fleece sweater and that's gonna do good i feel like i picked up a lot of fall winter items which is crazy but i've noticed too that they have not been selling just yet and i'm assuming because you know we are still in the summer so yeah this was actually a really exciting find and it's gal meets glam um, this is actually a size 14. It's this beautiful dress. I'll have to pop up a stock photo because me showing it won't do it any justice. But the only thing with this one is that it is flawed in the front. So like where the buttons are, it's missing one and then one is kind of like hanging loose. But other than that, it's in an excellent condition. I have it listed pretty high just because I would like to see, you know, what I could get for it or what type of offer. But we'll see. All right, so I also um, put this on my Instagram stories asking, should I get this or not? And the brand is called Roman, I want to say. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, but it's just like this Y2K style sweater cardigan, if you will, with fringe trim around it. I just thought that, you know, somebody would like this. And the sizing on it is probably like a large, extra large around that. Another Y2K piece is this Ed Hardy shirt. It has like that mesh arm to it. I saw this and I was like, I gotta get her. This is actually a size medium. Uh oh. And I've been getting a lot of attention on this on Mercari and Poshmark. And I noticed that it's just nonstop, like nonstop. The next one is a new to me brand called Miss Sony. And this is actually a collaboration with Target. This is a size large. It's just this really pretty groovy knit dress. It's giving very much so 70s vibes, if you will. I'm kind of thinking of like Charlie Brown. That's the kind of energy it's giving me. The next one is actually a North Face dress, romper, if you will. I kind of wanted to try it on just to see, but 
it's just this really pretty romper in this beautiful blue color um, I don't typically pick up North Face but I thought that this was a pretty good price point and I thought it looked kind of cute in a stock photo so I was just kind of like let me get it the next one is an Eileen Fisher like blazer overcoat jacket this is 100% silk and I picked it up mainly because it looks like it's in a really good condition and it has like this really nice texture to it and I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up and this is actually a size extra large the next one is a Columbia like Henley sweatshirt it's a size large but I feel like it's a very slimming large so if you are not a slim large this isn't for you but if you're like a slim large it's for you <laughs> and the next one is actually this <sighs> victory skirt from nike y'all know how i feel about skirts i love picking them up because they do so well for me and this is an extra large it is white however i checked it thoroughly and it's in amazing condition so i went on and picked it up the next one is a pair of rei pants um these are just some hiking pants I picked this brand up a few times and it does sell pretty well for me so anytime I can find it for a decent amount I'm gonna get it and this is actually a size for petite so our guy is a pretty good brand to get all right so the next one is from the bands and it's these American Eagle high-rise jeggings you already know how that goes I think I've sourced quite a bit of American Eagle from the bands these are a eight short I'm debating on whether or not I should like kind of slow down and only pick up like pieces that are distressed instead of like basics like that just because I don't want them to sit for a long time the next one is uh, seven for all mankind the eight pocket these actually just sold yesterday so I'm gonna have to take these out but I got these at the bins as well and they're just like these flared denim jeans and they have just literally an a pocket on them so I went on and got them and I'm glad I did because they sold in one day and it was a pretty easy sale. The next one is from the bins as well and it's from J Crew. I heard that the J Crew that is in cursive does better than like the regular J Crew, so I'm hoping that these could do pretty good. But these are just some man trunks and these are size 32. Like I said, um we're in a weird stage right now where it's still kind of like summer but then it's almost like okay fall is coming so you know so i'm just picking up everything because you just never know these are another pair of american eagle now these are a double zero which are super tiny so i know these are going to be sitting for a while i do have these priced a little bit lower just because i know it's going to take a while for them to sell but these are just some basic jeggings and you know i just thought i'd go ahead and get them the next one is a pair of democracy jeans i've never picked up this brand but i heard a few people talk about it being a pretty good seller especially on ebay and mercari so i was just kind of like let me test it out i got these at the bins so what could go wrong you know but these are eight petite and i think what people like about this brand is that they have like this very stretchy waistband all right so the next one is a anthropology brand from level 99 these are a size 28 these are just some linen tinsel pants. I do have a stock photo to give them justice, but um, I know linen is better for the spring, early summer, but I thought I'd pick them up anyways because I did get them at the bins. All right, I also got this at the bins as well, and this is just a Maeve skirt. Um, I do have a stock photo for this one as well, and this is actually a size large. Um, it is like this knit material, and then it has a zipper closure in the back. It's Maeve and honestly, I enjoy picking up Maeve when I can find it, but I don't pick up everything because I notice that the tops do not sell. <laughs> so I don't waste my time on those, but I've been able to sell like three skirts of Maeve. So I'll pick up their skirts. Of course, this is Madewell. I found this at the bins. I think I'm at a point now where I have so much Madewell denim jeans that I'm actually gonna stop picking them up at thrift stores. And if I find them at the bins, I'll go ahead and get them. But this is a 10 inch high rise skinny and it's a size 26. Um, this is definitely like a quote unquote older style because it's a skinny jean. So these are gonna most likely sit a while, but 
it's push come to shove i'll just take it to a buy sell trade store because i've noticed that they love made well at the stores all right so another pair of bke jeans these are called the peyton and they look really nice they look to be in excellent condition i actually got these from the bands as well and I couldn't help myself, so I went on and picked them up because I, I typically, you know, pay for these at the regular thrift store. So it's like if I find it at the bins, even better. Um, these are a pair of Everlane denim jeans. Also found these at the bins. And Everlane is one of those brands where it's a hit or miss. I just was able to sell one pair of uh, Everlane denim jeans that I had for almost like four or five months. So I don't know how long these are gonna sit, but I'm hoping that they don't sit a very long time. But these are a size 27 and these are their crop cheeky jeans. Um, but the only problem is that, you know, it has a little hole on the belt loop. All right, um, these are another pair of silver jeans, but these are the Sookie. I've sold this style twice before, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. And these are a size 30. These are just like some flare cowgirl jeans and they do have like that exposed stitching on the back so i went on and got it i find that the larger size do the best but the other ones they still sell they just take a while to sell um this is also at the bins and it's loft i don't generally pick up loft and tailor or anything like that but i feel like at the bins if it's in like a light new condition i can't really help myself and these are actually a size 32 and these are like leggings so basically jeggings um, but I don't know if I did a good job with these just because these are like a gray color and I don't think people really wear a color denim anymore. People really stick to like blue and black. All right, so the last thing I got was this pair of free people like pants. I don't even know what these are called. I'll just have to pop up a stock photo, but I was pleasantly surprised uh, to find these there because this is actually a newer style and you know, Thank you for donating this to the bins because I got it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.